Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be discussing a case study based question from the chapter Statistics, book class 10. A group of students decided to make a project on statistics. They are collecting the heights of their 51 girls of class 10A, B and C of their school. After collecting the data, they arrange the data in the following less than cumulative frequency distribution form. So they have given less than 140. Number of girls having height less than 140 is 4. Number of girls having less than height 145 is 11. And this is less than cumulative frequency distribution table. We have to convert in a normal frequency distribution table. So for that, first we will write the class interval and then frequency actually this is cumulative frequency we want the frequency so this will be 135 to 140 again 140 to 145 145 to 150 150 to 155 155 to 160 and the last class interval will be 160 to 165. Now this is cumulative frequency. We have to write the frequency. How will you write the frequency? First 135 to 140 number of girls is 4 only. Now how many girls are having the height between 140 to 145? This is cumulative. That means less than 145. We need to subtract 4, 11 from 4. So 11 minus 4 which is equal to 7. In the same way 29 minus 11 is 18 again 40 minus 29 is 11 and 46 minus 40 is 6 51 minus 46 is 5 so we got the frequency now now we will do the problem so this is class interval and second row this one is frequency this one given here is cumulative frequency what is the lower limit of median class so we need to find out the median class first. The total frequency is 51. When you add this, you will get 51. Or otherwise, the cumulative frequency also we can make out. This is 51. So 51 by 2 is 25.5. So you have to find out the frequency, cumulative frequency, which is greater than or equal to 25.5. This is 29. So corresponding class interval, you have to take. So this is our median class 145 to 150 that is our median class and they have asked lower limit of median class lower limit of median class will be 145. What is the upper limit of model class? Model class means the class interval having maximum frequency so that is also same here 29 is uh, the 80. So you should see now this is the frequency this is cumulative frequency so 18 is the maximum frequency and the corresponding class in class interval will give you the model class so 145 to 150 145 to 150 is our model class the class interval having maximum frequency Median class is also same 145 to 150 and the, they have asked lower limit so that is 145 and model class is 145 to 150. Here they asked what is the upper limit of model class so it is 150. Now what is the mean of lower limit of median and model class. This is our <coughs> median class and this is our model class we have to take the mean of lower limit of median class and lower limit of model class that is what mean means sum of scores divided by number of scores 145 plus 145 divided by 2 is nothing but 145 the next question is what is the width of the class width means class size class size means you have to subtract two consecutive lower limit or two consecutive upper limit which is equal to 145 minus 135 which is equal to 5 and the last question is what is the median? We know median formula. Median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into H. Divide by F into H. Now lower limit is 145. N means total number of frequency. That is 51. So 51 by 2 minus 
cumulative frequency that is cumulative frequency above the median class so cumulative frequency is 11 cumulative frequency is 11 and f is the frequency of the median class so frequency of the median class is 18 so 18 and h is class size which is equal to 5 now we, we will simplify this 145 plus 20, uh, 51 divided by 2 is 25.5 minus 11 divided by 18 into 5. So 145 plus we will simplify this. So 40, 145 plus 25.5 minus 11 is 14.5 into 5 divided by 18 which is equal to 145 plus 14.5 into 5 is 72.5 divided by 18 first simplify this part so 145 plus 72.5 divided by 18 is 4.03 when you add this, you will have 149.03 cm. So, the median is 149.03 cm. So, in today's video, we have seen a case study based question from the chapter statistics. Thank you for watching my video.